The European Commission's Joint Research Center, located in Gale, Belgium, contributes to standardization, accreditation and harmonization of radioactivity measurements by providing reference materials and reference measurements. To achieve its goals, JRC operates many highly specialized instruments to measure radioactivity. Some of them are located in the underground laboratory Hades, where it's possible to detect extremely low levels of radioactivity. Hello, my name is Mikael Hult. I lead the radionuclide metrology team of JRC Gale. In addition to our above-ground laboratories, we operate a laboratory for low-level radioactivity measurements in the Belgian underground research facility Hades, which is managed by the EIG Eurydis. It is located 225 meters underground. Why don't you join me for a visit? JRC develops and implements reference standards for nuclear safety and security. Reliable and accurate data are required for sound nuclear waste management strategies to make model calculations and monitor radioactivity levels in the environment. In Hades, the flux of cosmic rays is about 10,000 times lower compared to above ground. And consequently, the background noise in our detectors is about 10,000 times lower. This enables us to measure traces of radioactivity in samples that are not possible to study above ground. Since 2014, JRC's laboratory in Hades is part of the JRC Open Access Initiative, which enables European researchers to apply to use the highly specialized radioactivity measurement instruments located there. The study of natural archives is a hot topic. We have collaborations with European organizations that study natural archives such as tree rings, ice core samples from Greenland, and corals, both tropical and cold water ones. The cold water corals thrive in the northern Atlantic and can become up to 40,000 years old. We must extract and decipher the data contained as radioactivity in these samples to learn about the environment, the environment in the past and past events. Natural archives are increasingly used to study historical events like climate change in the past and the impact of human activities. Patterns of both natural and human-made radionuclides in archives can tell scientists stories of the past. Such knowledge is used to understand our planet better and hopefully to better predict the future. Our detectors are specially designed for operation underground. They are shielded with 10 centimeters of copper and 20 centimeters of lead. Lead is ancient lead and we have examples of lead both from Hampton Court, Castle and Versailles and other sources. The shield is there to protect the measurement from myself, the natural radioactivity in me and in the air and in the walls, not to protect me from what's inside. Underground measurements are useful in many fields of science. Examples of the hundreds of measurement projects that have been performed are characterization of reference materials for environmental monitoring and nuclear decommissioning, studies of uptake of radionuclides in plants, solving discrepancies in data from Hiroshima related to exposure of the victims, transport of nutrients and minerals in the oceans, and measurements of samples like air filters, human lung cells, meteorites, and much more. This is reference materials of maize powder. Hades has perfect conditions for analyzing reference materials. The absence of background makes the measurement very robust. In addition to characterizing in-house reference materials, we also characterize materials produced by other organizations such as the IAEA or many national metrology institutes. Reference materials help the many laboratories that monitor radioactivity in the environment, in food and building materials, to do a better job in protecting citizens from the dangers of ionizing radiation. Work that's made an obligation for EU member states as stipulated in the Euratom Treaty Article 35. Hades has also attracted some interest from scientists searching for very rare decay and trying to solve the riddles of the universe. Here we see testing of germanium crystals that will be used in one of the world's biggest experiments, the double beta decay experiment, Legend. Once the germanium crystals have been tested and approved in Hades, 
they're transported to Gran Sasso in Italy, where they're assembled into a very large-scale detector for rare events. In Hades, we have done measurements of some very special decays. For example, the decay with the lowest known decay energy in indium-115, or the radionuclide with the longest isomeric state, tantalum-180m. We have also measured some very rare alpha decays to excited states and many others. That's it. Now we have to analyze data and write reports, but this we do above ground. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.